you really need to do something cloud to cloud, getting a virtual Windows box in a online cloud environment is usually the best way to do it because you don't have to rely on your local internet connection to do the heavy lifting of the data transfer. I have a large number of pics stored in older Google Drive folders and Google Workspace, which I'm looking to copy and import into Google Photos. I can't say a way to import direct, so I currently have to download it to my Mac and then upload, which is very annoying since it's all on Google Cloud suggestions. I don't think there's a way to import directly from Drive on the web. I know you can do that from Google Drive on your local device, but I'm going to assume you've got a whole bunch of legacy photos. Maybe it's 10,000 photos and five or 10 or 20 gigabytes of stuff. Downloading all of that and then re-uploading all of that is, is a pain in the butt, especially if your internet connection is not super fast. My mind goes to two things. Number one, you may be able to achieve this with Zapier. So creating a Zapier zap, point the source at your Google Drive folder online, and then the destination at your Google Photos account of the import feature of your Google Photos account. You would wanna do a one-time data migration using Zapier and have all of that data move across. Second option is do this via a cloud service of some sort. So if you go to DigitalOcean and get a virtual Windows desktop, or you could go to Google Cloud Platform, get a virtual Windows desktop using their virtual machines. You could install Google Drive or synchronize your Google Drive to that virtual machine and then upload them all to Google Photos there. Now, depending on how much data you've got, you might not wanna bother with that, but if you really need to do something cloud to cloud, getting a virtual Windows box in a online cloud environment is usually the best way to do it because you don't have to rely on your local internet connection to do the heavy lifting of the data transfer. You can just remotely connect to it using Chrome Remote Desktop or using Microsoft Remote Desktop if it's a Windows box. And from there, you can get access to the machine, move the data that you need to move, and it's all running at the speeds of a data center, which is usually a gigabit of internet or sometimes even more. So that should help you out with that one. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.